Heritage traffic, Sonics taking off runway 28, Heritage. Heritage traffic, Cherokee answering downwind to 8, Heritage. Traffic Sonic turning right across the for right to right Heritage. Heritage traffic, Turkey's downwind 28 and uh, leave the uh, approach at Heritage. Sonic departing to the north, Heritage. There's a traffic charge, he's turning down. Uh, Cease to it, Heritage.
Now that we have a open frequency, they can talk without being interrupted. Uh, the purpose of today's flight was to find time or cruise performance at various altitudes. So, start off, we at 1,000 feet a minute. Uh, take off line, we're seeing about uh, 6 gallons per hour at 66 degrees Fahrenheit. The barrel setting of 274. First cruise uh, performance check, 5,500, uh, 60, 60 degrees Fahrenheit, with a density altitude of 6,700, uh, 2,600 RPM, uh, 5.3 gallons per hour at 105 knots indicated airspeed. At 4,500, we saw 2,700 RPM, 6 gallons per hour at 115 knots indicated airspeed. At 6,000, or climbing through 6,000 feet, uh, 2,800 RPM, 57 degrees Fahrenheit, 7 gallons per hour at 800 feet per minute, pitching for VY. At 8,500 feet, we saw 52 degrees Fahrenheit at 2,700 RPM, 103 knots, 5.5 gallons per hour, 2,600 RPM, uh, 97 knots at 4.5 gallons per hour, 2,800 RPM, 107 knots at 6.4 gallons per hour and 2,900 RPM at 113 knots, 6.6 .6 gallons per hour with a true airspeed of 135 knots. 9,500. Go ahead, support the table. 3,200 RPM, 8 gallons per hour, 125 knots. I think we were pushing 180 knots ground speed with our tailwind. Uh, 9,500 again, it was really closer to 9,000 feet, because I'm not very good at holding altitude. Uh, we're seeing 2,600 RPM for 25. Man, I thought that was the frequency. 4.5 gallons per hour, 97 knots. And then really 8,500 feet at 2,500 RPM, uh, 4 gallons per hour, 95 knots which comes out to, I think, around 33 to 35 nautical miles per gallon. 2,400 RPM, 3.7 gallons per hour at 90 knots. So, now before we get too low, I'm going to do a power on glide. Just to see what our glide performance is. I'm going to look back through our data logs that we get from this flight to really determine what our best glide is. So I'm going to pitch for L over D max, which should be between VY and VX. I'm going to keep it lean right now, just so the NGM stay a little bit higher. So we don't shock cool the engine. Actually, it's getting a little chilly. Uh, it's about 59 degrees Fahrenheit here. So I'm at idle, saying one gallon per hour. It's eight. Pitching back for VY. Well, L over D max. Okay, copy. Which we are approaching here. 64. At VY. Back a little more. The trim keeps vibrating itself forward a little bit, so I end up having to uh, keep re-trimming the aircraft. We got our airport right over there, pretty easy to see with the uh, cooling towers. I'll turn to the right a little bit so you can see them out the corner there. And I wasn't paying attention, and now we're below VX. I'll hold it right there at 62 knots, as best as I can. A little bumpy as we're going through 3,000. It was kind of bumpy coming up through 3,000 earlier. wasn't really at idle, oh well. So we're seeing about 800 feet per minute on the 
descent. Holding LRD max. Outside air temperature is 63 degrees Fahrenheit. And of course, we're getting about 80 nautical miles per gallon because we're only burning 0 0.8 gallons per hour. Like to hold this for about a thousand thousand feet. If I can hold airspeed. Hold this down to two thousand feet, then I will set up for Landing back at Heritage. There's traffic, sonic turning, final runway 28, Heritage. Way too low on that approach, more than I'd like. But it gets really hot in this car real quick. Here, traffic sonic through the active heritage. There, the traffic sonic clear of the active heritage. Looks like Bill is coming over to Pat after I get out. Oh, that was me. The uh, 
Uh, that was the stall indicator. Our AOA sensor going off. It's not supposed to sound when it's below 20 knots. 